Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Northern TCG. I got a bad haircut. And Kurt from Locals. I love buys. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, let's start with Kurt. <laughs> it's not going to be much. <laughs> Get a lot of buys. <laughs> um, well, we'll start with last Tuesday. I went round one against Ben. Lost to Fire King Snake Eye. Yep. Then had the buy in round two. First Logan in round three, which was pretty much a buy because he bricked twice. That was Tuesday. Edison today had the buy round one. And then round two, I got locked out again because I couldn't tribute my Monarchs. He learned that Mask of Restrict kind of ends his day. Yeah. Spell and trap removal. I don't Important. like... Floodgates suck. Even though I played King Calamity for Welcome to my sideboard in Edison. Six months. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, my week was pretty not great. My week was fantastic. <laughs> Undefeated. Didn't lose a single game. No, I lost one game. Uh, didn't lose a single match. It was quite good. Tuesday night, uh, playing Fire Kings. Uh, X, 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 XO. Yeah, I was going to say, if you did... <laughs> <I won>. Yeah, <laughs> that's how that works. Um, two word everyone. No, you didn't. Did you beat me in a game? I beat you in a game. Oh, I feel bad. Liar! <laughs> Fraud! Yeah, sorry. I misremembered my day. You forgot Baldrick effect. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Sorry. All, my, all the matches ended so quickly, I just assumed I two-word everyone. Um, yeah. That was that. Uh, uh, then today, I won Edison. Because Gadgets is the best deck in Edison format. Uh... Didn't burst me. Yeah, it's definitely the gadgets the one you gave and not all the floodgates and all the side hey, cards and all the out cards and only all of one the... floodgate hit you, Jake. Yeah, it's because you I auto scooped when I played it. <laughs> fucking terribly. Yeah. I normal summoned uh, Fossil Diner. And I was like, now you can't battle fade me. It wasn't even a battle fade, it was the gauze. Like I don't think uh, it was working. The gauze anyway. wouldn't work anyway, yeah. yeah. Really uh, anyway, bad. your gauze token was gonna be like twelve hundred attack because I'm playing gadgets. <laughs> Well, yeah, like, in no way, shape, or form was I actually, like, going to, like, do well with the gauze. It was just yeah. to then survive to hopefully draw something that wasn't fucking a normal summon. Yeah. I put in the fossil dinosaurs because, like, you seem to stall a lot with special summons from your hand. Yes. Here is my fossil dinosaur. <laughs> Grab back battle fader. Battle fader. Grab back battle fader. He did that at one point. Yeah. I was like, mm, okay. I, I do do that a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah, how was your week? Uh, it was alright. Uh, so, uh, still playing uh, Two Element Fiendsmith in the real life. I may switch it back to Unchained Fiendsmith soon, just for something different. Um, but I also have some cards coming from uh, the Megatins, uh, so I might even put uh, an old, uh, very brief favourite back together as well. So, shh. Um, it's Metaphys. It, no. Um, in, yeah, so Edison, I'm playing a fairly terrible deck, and it showed off how terrible it was today by only giving me normal summons at every opportunity. It was very, very bad. Um, and then in Master Duel, uh, I think I'm on DLV 19 for the Duelist Cup. Uh, I would be playing it right now, but I was playing Edison, and now I'm here! Uh, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Also, I am, like, fucking exhausted i've been going since six o'clock like non-stop i'm about to die i saw jake lurking in the chat at 6 a.m and was like hmm jake's here to find out that kurt's cards are not the rarity he wants them to be <laughs> when are they this is a segue yes oh we can't... don't talk... oh, i do the ocg ban list first well yeah okay are you I done with your weekend? I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of figured you were done you can't push me on segues and changing things up at the moment okay i'm tired <laughs> He's very set and on the fragile. OCG ban list being what we talk about first, not rarities for thing. Correct. Okay, we'll get the to OCG that. ban list. Uh, so that was announced uh, Monday mm. at about ten p.m., eleven p.m. ish, uh, coming into effect as of October first. I thought it was meant to be the Sunday. No, no I just no. must have gotten my dates wrong. Yes, because yes. when it, when it got announced, I was like, oh, well, I thought this came out yesterday, and I just had ignored it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, uh, it is quite a big list. It's a list. very OCG list. Very, very OCG. OCG. <laughs> Come back to two months ago when I talked about how in the OCG they just want to limit everything because they have a lot of pet deckers and they don't want to ban their decks and have them not shop to locals anymore. I've got to say, I do like the list. There's a lot to like. With the list being what it is with the other hits, 
It really does. It does a lot. It does a lot. But like, it is very OCG mentality of you can't kill a deck because if you kill a deck, the people that like that deck might not play the game ever again. Well, so there's a very limit everything. There's a big hit in there. That yes. Hopefully changes so, the future. What Beatrice banned? The one like and only in card. Every other format. <laughs> Beatrice got banned in Duel Links, by the way. I think they banned Master Duel. It will not soon. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, yet. it got banned in Duel Links, and I was like. Why? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that Beatrice being the only ban, uh, there's a lot to fill the list because I think there's like nearly 50 cards on this list. Uh, so, limited. Uh, I'm just going to read through these rather than pause at each. Uh, Zodiac Dryden, uh, Masterpiece, uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, uh, Snatch Steel, Diablo Star, Snake Eyes Poplar, Tempai Dragon Tundra, Chandra, uh, Phantom of Yubel, Fiendsmith Engraver, Fiendsmith Tract, and Bonfire. A lot of hits for Fiendsmith. Uh, you will notice that they didn't ban Lacrima. Uh, however, they didn't ban Lacrima because they don't have the other level 6. So, yeah. Well, I think. They still have Baron there. Yeah. Or did they ban Baron last oh, list? No, no, no they, still, they still have Baron and Savage. And Apo. So they can still do the level 4 yes, they can still do contact stuff. fusion instead and make Baron. It just doesn't get yeah. them all the value. Um, Bonfire to 1. I feel like is a hit that we might be getting. Road is a one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's a search, but the only thing is like it's a hard one to a turn right. Yes. Nice. Like it's still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I always thought Bonfire had a grave effect. It doesn't. It just searches. No, that second line of text is the thing saying it's once per turn. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I always thought it had a secondary effect. It should have a secondary effect. Remember when they the, announced the Bonfire and we were all like... You can only play fires. <laughs> uh, remember when they, they announced Bonfire and we were all like, damn, they finally gave a rotor for the worst for, for the worst typing in the game. And they're like, watch this shit. Uh, Semi-limited. We Kurt's have... getting excited because there's a fight in the rugby league. Wow. It must be a Saturday. Um... It's okay, they can't punch each other. For those who are into international, uh, in our sport, you can't punch each other. They do. But you can't. You have to slap. Anywho, semi limited. We have Eva, Speed Road Terror Top, Dino Wrestler Pancratops, MX Saber Invoker, Luster Pendulum of the Draco Slayer, uh, Gold Sarcophagus, Fusion Destiny, Branded Opening, uh. Maxi, Lightning Throne, uh, Lightning Throne, Nightmare Throne, and Gozen Match. Perfectly fine hits. Perfectly fine. We did gloss over the fact that Masterpiece came back. Uh,. However, Masterpiece is more outable than ever now. Yes, yes, and there's less floodgates. Yes. The the fact that Imperm exists now and it didn't exist back when Masterpiece was a card is a big difference. Mm. Because you can just Imperm it if it's unaffected by traps. If it's not unaffected by traps. Because if they do monster spell like you used to, force the trap out. And instead it's now like, boop. Because you used to go monster spell, spell pop the trap. Mm. Although I will say all of the Solemns are back now, which they weren't before. Like, granted, Solemns not really the way they want to play. They want no. the, the continuous ones to get value. But yeah. it's there. Also, uh, Zeus is a thing now. Zeus is yes. a thing. And it recently came back to 2 slash 3? Yeah. Masterpiece is not that oppressive. But Put still. Masterpiece to 3. Wait. No, don't do Zeus that. is still... <laughs> oh, in yeah, no OCG. OCG. You're forgetting the fact that all the floodgates are also now limited. Maybe not an OCG. I don't know if skill drains. Oh, no. I think they have Monarchs Erupt. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Zeus is there is that on this list. Yes. Uh, Zeus to two? Yeah. Sneak peek. Um, but yeah, also Max C going to two is very interesting. Uh, they have more Charmies now. Yeah, I realise that. But you just get rid of Max C. That's the thing, yes. Yep. Yeah. What's the TCG? Just bring it back so that they can chuck it in like a fucking... <laughs> I want them to do it so badly. <laughs> It'd be funny. <laughs> it won't be. It so would be. Because you'll get Charmy Charmy Maxi. Exactly. Draw and... three. <laughs> yeah, but you're thinking about it in the fact that you get to do it. You don't... You're don't. you not thinking about it in the other sense of it gets done to you. He's signing for his back row. He doesn't care. I can... If you do Charmy, both Charmies, you get one draw off me. Sweet. I'll take a draw. Okay, go neg one. It's not neg one. I got it a charmy is. out of my hand. He replaced the charmy. I replaced one of the charmies. If you activate both of them. That's alright, I don't think we'll have one. Okay. 
Well, yes, that involves him buying them. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll get to we'll that get to in a minute. <laughs> uh, unlimited. Uh, we have all of the dragon rulers at three. Uh, Perform Age plus fire with the errata. Uh, Spiral Quick Fix, which is concerning. Uh, Zeus. Quick Fix is a three for us. Hmm? Quick Fix is a three for us. Yeah, yeah. but they have... What's the face? Oh, they have Master Plan? I'm pretty sure they do. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> Arsenal Zeus, uh, Match Respected Unicorn, Rageki, My Friend Pearly, and Lightning Storm. When's Lightning Storm going to come back to three for us? Next ban list. It's not to win anything. Next ban list. Perhaps. Uh, but yeah, this is all coming into effect as of October 1st. Um, it's already in effect. In Japan, they just play the new ban list once it gets released. Yeah. They don't have, like, a little last hurrah thingy? No. No? Normally, no. they're just like, yeah, we know. Off we go. Mm-hmm. There's no point playing this anymore if we're just going to be playing something different next week. That's true. Fair enough. They're good like that. That's what we should do. Yeah. They so, should just make them effective immediately. So, uh, moving back to the TCG for a br- brief moment, uh, we have now the full set uh, rarities of the upcoming Rage of the Abyss set. Uh, so, four secrets... We have. Look at that man. Spoilers. Centurions are not secrets. Heart of the Blue Eyes. Lacrima the Crimson Tear. Pretty shit. Pretty shit. Mm. These are both $10 cards. At best. Abyss Shrine the Atlantean Spirit. Maybe, Maybe 15 bucks. <laughs> Molchami Fluaros. Uh, it's worth mm. every other secret rare put together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm not joking. Pausing for that briefly, uh, the <laughs> current pre-release prices are at best about two hundred and thirty-five dollars a copy. Two hundred and twenty-five, sold out. Yeah, but then they went up to what on the second release? Two hundred twenty-five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a grim day if you wish to draw cards off to. I don't think I'm going to buy them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not going for like the start. Absolutely not. I've just I'm literally picking up a car. Uh, today, if you're listening to this on release. So, I don't have money to be dropping <laughs> on fucking <laughs> Antrax. Um, moving on, though. Deception of the Sinful Spoils. Uh, Primat, Lordly Lord. Load. I think the Spoils card might be around 50. Spoils card is currently on pre-sale for 90. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So... Uh-huh, wrong. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I was saying that's a card that's worth something. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was, yep. I, well, I lost track of my counters. Uh, so there's three, there's four good secrets, six mid secrets. Primite Lordly Load, which is a terrible name. Uh, Kurt will give you his Lordly Load. No, he won't. Uh, <laughs> Dominus Impulse. That's uh, the fourth one. Giant Mimigul. Mimigul oh. Charm. Charm's and... shit. Charm's dog shit. Oh, you play it as a one of. Exactly. Is that the Xyz? No, that's the... No, that's the spell. Both the, mo- both the secret rares. I thought the spell rares. was good. No. The one that they released, like, early, early? Yeah, yeah the yeah, one yeah. that rips out of the extra deck? Yeah. Yeah, it's mid. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't I play don't, memorable. I don't think it's that bad to be you, peeking at your opponent's extra deck in a... It's Dean random. Smith you don't get to peek. Oh. It's random. Yeah. Just play Unicorn. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> uh, and then lastly for the secrets, Fire King Courtier Olcarnix. That's it. Yeah, that's number four. What yeah, they it? also didn't. Um, it wasn't tell a us. secret rare when they announced it. Announced it. Correct. They were like, "Here it is. Here's Just show it off as a common." Looking superish at best. They literally <laughs> showed a proxy. <laughs> <laughs> they literally showed a proxy on stream. Thanks, Jerome. And oh, then, was it on stream? Like a physical yeah. card of it? No, 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 no. So they did like the. They showed the pictures. Yeah. But they clearly showed a picture that wasn't a uh, like a recreation of the card. Okay. They're doing sure. sneakies. Good you work, can't trust them. You can't I'm watching trust them. you. You can now no longer trust whenever they do those announcements yeah. as to what's not a secret rare no, and what is. You can't. But the good news is because all the other secrets are really expensive, Alcarnix will be very cheap. It's like 35. That's still very cheap for a secret, to be fair. Yeah. The Dominus is quite expensive. It's like 80 because it doesn't lock you out of fire. Uh, so <laughs> you just play it. Whee! Fire. It, it is actually a lot. Like, I was comparing both of them, and this one is a lot better. Yeah, it's a lot oh, better. 100%. Because, what, this format at the moment is, like, fire, darks. Maybe some waters with the exes, maybe? Maybe, and then, what, we've had lights one coming out of it, which... Yeah, lights one, I do shit. Uh, well, you aren't playing lights yeah, one. You're playing Fire yeah. King. 
Yeah. So, um, it's darks and fire. Doesn't look out of either of those. Ultra rares. We have surfacing big jaws, the black eyes, bl- no red eyes, black full metal dragon, yep. the Primarch Imperial dragon, Centurion Chimera, Mermel Shadow. Hey, is that a good one? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. No. Uh, Araya, the water channeler. <laughs> yep. Uh, Azamina Mu Rislago, Azamina Moa Regina, Legendary Lord Six Samurai Shien, Pasadra Abyss, the Atlantean Dragon Lord. Maymao King Neptibus, uh, Flying Mary, the Wandering Ghost Ship, Primite Drillbeam, and Mimigul Throne. He's complaining that his, like, extra deck card is a super. My main deck cards are commons. My main deck cards are commons! I wouldn't make the argument that, like, um, 6 Sam don't have high rarity cards, because, like, I'm, those I'm, were the I'm, OG. I'm not complaining that way. I'm complaining that, so you have Oxil and Legardia, which were secret ultra, yep. but they both got QCRs. Yep. Now we have another sinker in the deck, and it's just a super, and that's it. You have to wait till next year. You get a, you get a next QCRs year. QCRs aren't going to be here next year. QCRs are already here next year. By the time Checkmate the tin, the, <laughs> by the time the tins come out, there's not going to be QCRs anymore. <laughs> it's not going to get QCR reprint, but also. The level 8 Synchro isn't that important to get a QCR. Like, it comes it onto the board and then it to be floats QCRs. away. Like It's on the board more than the others! Then you're playing it wrong. So is my commons. <laughs> you, you bring it back at least two times in your combo. Six Samurai calls it $17. And that's with I'm, three of the cards you don't even need. <laughs> I'm sorry. How dare you complain? I got two cards. When there's starving kids across the table from you. Like me, because I haven't eaten all day. Um, so, obviously, all of these will be coming in Quarter Century Secret Rare. And then we have the... Um, actually, I don't remember what one it is that we're getting. Is it the Fusion that we're getting? Yes. Yeah, we get the Fusion of Bonds and whatever. And genuinely, it's just not there. No, I don't think it's yeah. the Fusion of Bonds and that. Is well, it's not a Fusion of those. It's just it's a that. Fusion. Yeah. But it's names like something of Bonds yeah, and something of pride and soul. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Get the card in front of you. Yeah, but it's not a fusion of those cards. It is. The material highly. The uh, three magicians don't make a three-headed dragon. They do. You can't. You, Have you not seen you? You yet? cannot possibly dictate what the. Fusion materials are by what the Ed Monster looks like. Let me show you Heavy Metal Musician King. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Just Musician, musician King? King? Three Magicians. Oh, heavy Metal Musician King dragons. is when he equips with Metal Morph in the anime. When are we getting that card? Never. Jerome, where's my Heavy Metal Musician King? Look, we just got the Metal Morph support and... And we didn't get bad. Heavy Metal Musician it's King! Bad. I just want to play Witch of the Black Forest. You can no, do that. No, you no. just can't make a bad fusion with it. That has nothing to do with the materials that it's made of. It triggers witch if witch is on field. Okay, cool. You can normal summon it. Normal summon witch summon activate a bad poly. fusion. <laughs> Search, I don't know. Probably a battle fader. Turn two <laughs> nuns into a musician. Yep. That's anyway. how it works. Um so yeah, we did mention some Mimigul cards, so we do have the second run. Um most people will be familiar with these by now, but they're great. They are quite good. Um, the first so, one is dog shit, though. Yeah, this one's quite bad. <laughs> when I saw the first one, I was like, oh, no. Like, you can play it. It's an extender. It's a name. Sure. Um, so, it's a one-of. Uh, so, obviously, they all have the thing of, um, yeah, special summon it to your opponent's board, and if it's flip face up, apply an effect and then give it back to you. Uh, so, this one, Mimigul Armor. Stops from being destroyed by battle. Yep, can't be destroyed by battle. And it free summons. Um, yeah, if your opponent controls a monster, special summon this card from your hand. Uh, Mimigul Fairy. This one's good. Uh, when it's flipped this turn, you cannot activate the effects of monster special summon from your hand. This is applying to your opponent, obviously. Yes. Your opponent's um, cashier monsters do not trigger after they summon them. Uh, and then if you control a Mimigul monster, special summon this card from... Uh, no, special summon this card face Turns up off to the your entire field. cashier deck. For special summon from the hand, yes. right? So they special summon Fenrir, mm-hmm. it can't search, and it can't banish stuff. 
They special summon uh, Unicorn. It can't special. It can't search, and it can't banish stuff. Have you heard of Theosis? I was gonna say like they get one search. Theosis and okay, uh, but getting no, no. a search anyway, to then make an Xyz to then reborn something from grave. Also playing the book deck that can just book them. That okay. is true. So yeah. <laughs> maybe they Theosis give target a you go entire book. summary of what you're trying to do rather than I flip this card. Your deck is fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, there's the small part where you've given your opponent a set card, so they already have to play around that to start. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. your opponent just controls a monster. <laughs> That's true. Yes. So, uh, we have one more main deck monster, which is Slime. Uh, your opponent can special summon one Mimigore monster from their deck to the field. Uh, and then it gives itself over. Um, do, 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 and it also special summons itself from hand. Now, the reason that all of these special summon themselves from hand is because the uh, second wave of support focuses on Xyz. Sorry, so that, uh, that other monster you read was actually quite good. Slime is decent. Slime is decent. S slime is actually quite a good combo. <laughs> uh, armor is bad. Uh, so, the yeah. first Xyz is Giant Mimigul, which is a rock Xyz, 1300 attack, 2000 defense. Uh, oh, it's there, I just realized that it also plays around TCB. So, I didn't know what the XZs were. Lovely. Uh, your non XZs Mimigul monsters can attack directly while your opponent controls a face down monster. You can only use each effect once per turn. If this card is XZ, summon add a Mimigul card from your deck to your hand. Detach material from this card, target face up cards on the field up to the number of face down monsters your opponent controls, destroy them. And if you do, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent for each card destroyed. Do they, wants to do something do they keeps... keep the monster? No, it comes back to you. So if it's flipped in the main phase, it applies its effect, and then, <laughs> then it comes to And you. that's all of them? There isn't one that all just stays? No, the, but the traps that you get then f can reflip your opponents, or summon them back again to your opponent's board. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm like, you just put floodgates into this deck, like Tigaboo and all that stuff. Yeah, that's how people have been playing it. And uh, summoning yeah. curse. Uh, yeah, summoning curse. Summon special summon your opponent's board, then banish the card out of their hand. Yeah. That's great. And then we have Mimigul Throne, uh, so this one is also a so, rock, so uh, going back, it doesn't play around. Going back to that other card, it's uh, just a straight up time burn card, because you can pop itself. Nice. So you can give your opponent a monster, special summon one to your board, and like normal summon another, go into the Xyz, uh, pop the Xyz, oh, well, you can also add, and then you can pop the Xyz, burn for a thousand. Use the card you've added to keep going. It's not I'm a meta deck unless it burns in time. In two weeks time. Uh, so Mimigul Throne. You might not be versus this deck in two weeks time. I, I can't wait for me to FTK you and then you to be like, I wish you were <laughs> playing play Mimigul. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Rock Xyz. Um, <laughs> detach material from this card, special summon Mimigul Master from your hand, deck, or graveyard. During the main phase, quick effect, target Mimigul Master control. Equip this card to it as an equip spell that gives a thousand attack. Then you can return cards from the field to the hand up to the number of materials this card had. Uh, you can only use it once per turn, only once per turn. It's, yeah, it's only one effect. So you can't summon the master and then bounce. Okay. Yeah, but that's so alright, because you're meant to use the bounce off turn. So you make yeah. this one exactly. on your turn, yeah. then off turn, boop. You bounce your opponent's cash tier cards. <laughs> you really focused on like one avenue. Of Specifically what this deck can on, do. on on stream, Jerome and Billy were like, this deck's just built to beat Cash Tira. And I was like, <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> so is this their addressing of Fenrir slash yeah, uh, Shifter? pretty much. Don't worry, we're going to give you this TCG oh, wait, you, exclusive you, you archetype. You can play Shifter in this deck. I know this. Yeah. You say this like <laughs> I'm unfamiliar with the deck at all. Please <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Jake remembers that time that I activated Shifter and then went, well, I just pass anyway, so keep going. <laughs> so, Mimigul Fork. Uh, this card's garbage. Target one face down. Also, we've known about this card for ages, but it looked like it was fake when it got leaked. Mm. It turns out it was real. <laughs> I don't know. I reckon you could play one slash two of them. Well, uh, yeah. It searches itself. That's the worst part. Like, yeah. if it just searched anything else, it'd be fantastic. If it searched the field spell, done. In the deck it goes. Yeah. Uh, and then, work. obviously, Charm, which was the first card that we knew about, the random rip for the extra deck. Yeah. Another trash. God, I that shouldn't be a secret rare. No, it's only a secret because of the be. art. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, so, there's a bunch of TCG exclusive, like, side cards. Uh, one the, of them was interesting. I'm trying to the, remember what one that might not be. Not that. Um, the this insect one, kind of cool. one. There was a few insect ones. Uh, so there was, like, a mini insect archetype that they sort of announced. This is B Trooper support, wasn't it? So they had Supply Soldier of the Indestructible Insects. But the, an insect, the first one, yeah. Yeah. 
So when an insect monster effect is activated, quick effect special summon this card from your hand. Then if you activate this effect in response to an opponent's activation, negate that effect. Also turn the end of turn, you deserve a special summon insect, blah, blah, blah. Um, the other during, one is also not terrible. During your main one phase. Adds, hmm? Does this one also add? No, this one fusion summons. Okay, uh, the one that so, adds is the one that's all. Also uh, uh, four phase of monsters you control are insects. Target two monsters on the field, including an insect you control. So Bunch the them. Yeah. Uh, face of monsters your opponent controls that will not summon this turn become insects. Uh, you can only use it once per turn. Oh, sorry. It was the plant one. Sorry. The plant TCG exclusive. Yes. The one uh, that adds fairly the plant. sisters. Yeah. Uh, so if the total level of monsters you control are less than or equal to the total level of uh, monsters your opponent controls, tribute this card. Add one level, seven or higher insect or plant monster from your deck to your hand. During the end phase of this turn, take 2700 damage. If you do not normal special summon the added monster or a card with the same original name after activating this effect. You can only use it once per turn. It's interesting, but it's not good. It's just a weird extender that plants get. Yeah. If like, it special like summoned it itself, it would be better, but you have to like commit to getting it on the board outside it summons of summons free. Yeah. You can normal summon. Does, it's a level one. So one for one it. There's a million ways to do it. They need out. that normal monster, right? Yeah. It's the link one to get into the link one that goes yeah. further. The link one's limited now? I don't know. Yes. I have not had a single issue playing against this deck, so I just get very bored watching it. It does mm. a lot. And uh, it's... For context, the YCS is happening right now. Uh, round one, uh, the response turn of the plant player took 20 minutes. Yeah, mm. that's pretty standard. Um, in the upcoming Supreme Darkness set, we do have another round of Fiendsmith support. They're both garbage. We're not reading these. They're dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one's going to play Fiendsmith now. Because, A, you have to play it as its own deck, and it's not good enough to be its own deck. I guess we're yeah. moving on. The trap vanishes from Grave to summon the new fusion, which doesn't really do anything. Like, it's pretty mid. I like the art on the fusion, but that's it. The, the fusion yeah. is shit. The trap art looks like it was designed by an incel. Oh, yeah, the trap art is horrifically bad. It's like Engraver coming to the rescue of the damsel in distress. And she's like, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Please help. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, we have announcement of the next OCG sort of end of year product. So if we ever, if you guys ever do the, the fireside lore thing and do it for, like, this stuff, uh, when you get to this part of the lore, you need to have Kurt just, like, show up in, like, full drag and go, like, please help. Do that same voice you just did. Sorry? Aren't you and Jesse supposed to be doing that fucking fireside lore at some point? Oh, sure. Yeah, um, you ever do he's, this? He's floor? asking for. Oh God, no! <laughs> it's not a fire. No, no, no it's, it's, they just, they just like want to read sitting lore. by a fire. Oh, yeah. okay. There is a plan to do that at some point. Uh, it's coming back into spring slash summer now, so it's probably more practical to do so. The problem is that I don't want to do it, and they need me to do it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm more than happy to do it. I just need to find some fucking time. You need my equipment. <laughs> Frank should have, should have stuff. Surely. You want to have cameras and mics. You can try. We'll see how we go. <laughs> um, this, is yeah. all, this could just be me baiting Bragg's trying to get it done. Uh, so, just anyway. like whenever I call out Lachlan. He doesn't watch the podcast. Yeah, hasn't worked yet. Um, no. So, uh, there is an end of year product announced for the OCG, which is called the Quarter Century Trinity Box. Um, so, the long and short of it is, is like their end of year product, they get sleeves, they get all kinds of cool shit. Uh, the when notable release. Uh, it is releasing 20, uh, December 21st. Four days before Christmas. Four days before I'm there. That's true. Ooh. So, uh, the reason this is particularly exciting is because three one? archetypes are getting support, which are Dragon Maid, Punk, and Orcist. Jake wants the Orcist one. Are you going on Christmas? I'm going on Christmas Day. Oh, yes. okay. Yes, I'm doing the whole birthday thing and then I'm jumping on a plane. Sure. Uh, so there's a couple of different yeah, ways that they're struck. Oh no, hang on. No, it's just different things in the product. Okay. Yeah. So it's um, the, the same thing as that like Zeus pack they did years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's four in the product contents. There's four quarter century Trinity box special packs, ten cards per pack. Uh, Sixty different cards in the pool. Um, there's uh, one of three special storage boxes. Um, yeah, obviously, the, themed the box between Dragon Maid, Punk, and August. Yeah. Uh, two special. Yurugio special acrylic key holders with six different designs. Uh, 
one special Yu-Gi-Oh special clear card, three different designs. Uh, one set of 70 special Duelist card protectors. Uh, so we're sleeves. getting some sleeves. Oh, yes. Um, I'm actually really keen for this. Yeah, I'm I thought actually... this was coming out October 21st, not December 21st. Yeah, no, it'll so be much closer. I'm gonna it doesn't sell out. snap this shit up. But I'll will... go to like the most remote ass locations to find this. <laughs> it will be interesting <laughs> to see how these decks are supported. They did hint a while back that we're gonna get the chamber dragon form. Like it was a shadow in the background of like a dragon made something or other. So theoretically, it was a that's one of the thing. I don't know. It was a while back. Um, but then obviously Punk and Orcist, uh, hopefully Punk gets some better Jason. synchros, maybe like off-turn fusions and do stuff, because they have Carp, but Carp literally just is a tutor for, for the deck. Like, it doesn't do anything. Like Carp. Hey, Magic Carp does stuff eventually. Yeah, but it doesn't. It gets <laughs> there. To get it to gets 20. there. <laughs> Don't be mean to the Carp. Carp are a nuisance on society. God said, blessed other Carp. Yeah, you made, them, the you made them not want to die. Uh, uh, every ecosystem they go into. Ah, they'll be fine. So, moving on to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us oh, sorry, questions. I've got to do the point. Yeah, you did. You did. I was, very, I was very disappointed. Very disappointed. Um, not a lot of questions this week, admittedly. Mm -hmm. uh, so our that was a lot last week. It's fine. It carried the podcast. Uh, yeah. da, 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 da. I don't think think we read this one last week so our first one this week comes to us from cheese man 1661 hi cheese man 1661 so next year will be my first ycs experience i've played a high tier events before regional qualifiers no ts champs along with my locals having very high caliber players like a uh, bit of a name drop uh lachlan robertson and dion saraza i know dion i don't know either. i think i might know dion hi dion <laughs> i don't think Probably not. That's why he's a high tier player. <laughs> you I give only think the best we all know Lock. Robinson? Yeah. I don't know who that is. Yeah. He was the issue at YCS the whole time. I think. You know that issue with the money? And the kid? Anyway, anyway moving on. Uh <laughs> So it's not a new experience in playing against high tier players or events. In your opinion, for a first YCS, what kind of deck should I play? One, oh, what kind of deck should I play? One where I intend to win or a deck that I'll have fun with but still has a high chance of pulling wins but subjectively is not a current top tier deck. Uh, also, for your guys' first YCS, what kind of deck did you take? A meta deck or a favorite slash fun deck? You say you tell he's new to the podcast because we've told this story a million times. Yes. Uh, my first YCS, I built a meta deck. Oh, anyway, what you should take, uh, take a, just take something good. Make sure you're comfortable with it. You will just pick up free wins all day long. Um, because even if you lose some matches, you will play some very casual players. So free wins. If you're playing something good that you understand. Don't play something good if you don't understand how the deck does. Yes. Uh, it will not be a fun time. Um, a, you're not going to like what you're playing and B, you're probably just not going to enjoy yourself. Um, but you do need to make that decision of whether or not you're there to have fun or whether or not you're there to try and win. Um, personally, if you first YCS, I would just set the goal of making day two. I'd play something good, try and make day two. It's way too early to make the call as to what deck that is, um, but I will be memeing this year. I'm going to play six Samurais. Um, you better believe I'm showing up with a bag of rice. And if they make me individually track the counters, I'm pouring out that rice on the table. Well, they do. I'm pouring that rice out on the table. And then picking it back up for each match? Yep. Oh, fucking Jesus. You should bring like a little hoover. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You better believe I am. <laughs> um, so, Six yeah. Six Samurais, coming soon. Uh, I very much agree with that. Uh, definitely take a deck that you are comfortable with. Like, obviously you want it to be good to some extent, but you need to be comfortable with it rather than taking the best deck in the room if you've not been, like, testing it. Uh, because, like... You may win against people just through, like, the power of your deck, but eventually you will come across the wall of you're not well enough versed in the deck to get around those random decks in the room. Like, some rogue can just randomly shut you down because you're not w aware enough. Uh, and then you'll come up against people that are well-tested in a mirror match, and they will dumpster you. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 
Um, so I had my first YCS, I think, last year with T format. Yep. It took me forever to just realize to play T. <coughs> I refused to play T. I, at first, I was playing branded before it, then tried to mix branded and T together. And then for the YCS, I just put T together. I think my issue at the stage was money trying to get the T cards. Then I just said, eh, I'll get to played that. This YCS that just happened, I didn't like the best deck. You didn't like Snake Eyes? I didn't like Snake Eyes, so I was just like, I'll just play Sprite, because I like that deck. See, I made the mistake with the tier element YCS being like, I'm going to play a hard counter to tier. <laughs> Did not Did play, not play a single tier <laughs> matchup the entire day, uh, which was really fun. Uh, don't do that. If you're playing it as try and YCS, don't do that. Never play a hard counter to the meta because there is so much fucking rogue. We love a rogue deck in Australia. Also, um, shout out to when we thought tier was expensive. <laughs> yeah. Tier was really fucking cheap, looking back it on it. It was so cheap. Yeah. Like, um, I think the thing that kind of made it expensive was, like, the Millers. Got to, like, being, like, 40 bucks a pop, maybe. The most expensive one was Planet. Planets uh, were planets, still at $100. Planets, were, the planets were expensive, one. yeah. And that was my issue with getting the deck. Because yep. they were just nowhere. You couldn't find them. Yeah. The Then Mavens came out. And yes, the Shufflers and Millers, they were quite hard to get. Yeah, I think the Millers were each like 40 bucks and the Shufflers... The Shit Shuffler... Or was the Shit Miller was cheap? The Shit Miller yeah, was cheap. Yeah, because you only played it at one. Yeah. Again, then... it was bad. Kelbeck, you 100% played. Yeah, I think I think I Kelo did play two Agito though because yeah. cards fucking insane. Yeah, but well, free rank four. Whee! At the end, play a deck that you enjoy. If you think it's good, play that. But if you don't think you're going to do well with it, I wouldn't play. <coughs> so your first YCS was tier. Our first YCS. <laughs> oh, was that your first YCS as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you would play the year before. No, I. Um, no, I wasn't... I don't think I was available. Two of my okay. mates went. The yeah. mates are no longer play. One was playing... Uh, actually, what were they playing? I can't remember what they were playing. Yeah. Um, anyway, I yeah, didn't go to 2016 100%. either. Yeah, no, I didn't go that one. Which was Full Power Pepe. Yeah. Wait, wasn't that one? No. No, it definitely wasn't. Yeah. Um, so our first YCS is 2017. Um, do you want to tell a story on me? Yeah, sure. Um, so for my first YCS, I was playing Mermel OTK because uh, Neptibus had not long before that come out. And uh, the Neptibus water been out a year, Jake. It felt like that to me anyway. It came out in Bosch the year before for yeah, our previous it was YCS. Me, but also Gamma Seal had just come out. Gamma Seal had been out for a year and a half. It had come out in docks in 2015. Did it? Yes. Clearly, I wasn't paying much attention to what was it. Was it Docs? It was one of them. Yeah, it was Surely in 2015. before that, because there was more than me playing fucking Mermel OTK in the room. Yeah, there was. There was more than just you. But, like, that was because Toad came out. Toad had just come out. I wasn't playing Toad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could afford Toad at the time. Um, wait. Anyway, I don't care. That's not the point of the story. Anyway, by about round four or five? Um, I sit across from a guy wearing an Australian rugby jersey. It was round two. Was it that early? It was round two. I don't know if it was. It was round two. I don't know if it was. It certainly it was. was. I don't know if it was. Because I went 0-2 to start and then went undefeated the rest of the day. I cleaned up that rogue like it was nothing. Anyway, the spoiler <laughs> alert is um, the guy sitting in the uh, Aussie rugby uh, shirt and with crutches was Ben. Yeah. Uh, they asked me when I got there, do you want a special table? And I was like, yes, please. Uh, it's very painful. And they were like, sorry, we forgot. <laughs> so yeah, Ben was hobbling around the entire day. I hadn't met him before this. Yeah. Um, he had built ABC? No. I had, I had full power meta ABC built. Yes. Uh, he lent it to someone. Who then didn't, didn't show up to the event. Yeah. So instead he played Trap Exodia. Yeah, I played Exodia stall. <laughs> so you didn't give the deck at... You gave it to someone before yes. YCS. Yeah, like two and days before didn't... I decided I was going. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, I'll go as well. And I was like, okay, cool. Fuck it, sure. You can borrow this deck. I'll play Exodia. And then you didn't... Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. I made day two. 
Yeah. I'll, I'll take that every day of the week. I will say that was like the first experience of YCS with the time thing. I don't think I got out of there until restaurants were closed. Yes. Same. I was fucking starving. Yeah, it was very bad. Old time rules were bad in that sense. So that, when did you end? Uh, would have been like nine o'clock. Maybe okay, ten. So main restaurants would have been closed. Yeah. Oh, at that point, everything was closed. Like it, the it's Olympic closed. Park. Yeah. yeah like okay. Olympic Park in January, everything's closed. Literally, the worst thing about YCS uh, Sydney is being hosted at Homebush. But it's also kind of the best thing. Of, like, you have so much space. Yeah. Although I will say one thing that I didn't do last year that I want to do this year. Yep. Uh, in the bottom of our Airbnb a couple of years back, there was like a sort of pseudo American style restaurant and they did American style um, restaurants were always kind of shit though no no but they did what inspired me to do these at home the uh, hot dogs with macaroni and cheese and bacon those are very common I know but not in that area I'm sure because it was Macca's ribs and rump which is fucking trash and this place hey sure. and and Panat Panat wasn't open at the time was it not Oh, I know it was. No, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that was when Ben became the most quotable man in Australian Yu Gi Oh! Was that that YCS or was that the YCS after? I don't know. What'd you say? Uh, when we were going to the casino and I was like, gambling's immoral. I'm here to win. <laughs> I don't think we went to the casino. <laughs> <right here. laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so I was playing Trap Exodia at my first YCS. Uh, I went 2 0 the first two rounds, uh, 0 2, sorry, and was like, this is miserable. This is not going to be a fantastic day. Uh, and then just proceeded to just pay like the dumbest shit I had ever seen for the rest of the entire event. And was like, at one point I played against a guy playing uh, token spam. And sure. I was like, anyway, here's my balance of judgment. I'm going to draw and win now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, do you know why I thought that we versed in round five? Why? Because in round five I versed a six samurai player. Ah, okay. Okay. That makes sense. And I think he either set up, set up uh, the Xi'an yep. and or a Nat Beast. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty standard. Yeah. Cool. Uh, anyway, summon Megalo, pop both of them with a hand effect, kill you anyway. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck if you were getting my spells. <laughs> like, also, like, I got really confused. I didn't realize I'd made day two because uh, my final round opponent didn't show up. Oh. Like, last round started at, like, 8.30. And my last round opponent just didn't show up. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. It must mean that, like, I didn't keep going. And then, like, the next morning after round one, I, like, checked and I had a pairing for round one. I was like, oh, shit. Okay. I guess you got paired down? Uh, no, I don't think I did. I would have probably had some shit house resistances. But hmm. that was a fun time. Max C was a thing. <laughs> Yeah. If you max seed your opponent, they just kind of like look and go like, mm, do I want to take the max seed challenge? And they're like, I'm just like, bro, I'm just drawing more traps here. Like, <laughs> you can take the challenge. I'm oh, not going to win. Pieces. Yeah. I'm either going to draw bricks or I'm going to draw traps. That's true. Then last question this week comes to us from 656. At what point do you consider a card not worth selling and just give it away? A dollar, five dollars, ten dollars? Never? Trade follower only? Around like that 3 to $4 range. Like 5 bucks and up is when I'm like, kind of like, I'll actually kind of trade you for it. Yeah, we'll look like at stuff. 4 and under, I'm like, ah, I don't really care. Depends if I know the person. See, for me, it's the opposite. Yeah. If, I'm, like, if I'm at locals and I don't know the person, I'll be more generous than I am at a regional and don't know the person. Yeah. Also depends if I just beat the person. If I'm at locals, I beat a new person and then they like ask me to look at a binder, they can have pretty much the first thing they look at for free. Yep. Uh, <laughs> top, top tip. Take a note. Lose to Ben and take Kurt's his... flashing back to the first time I beat him at locals and then he went through my binder and I gave him a card for free. What did you get? <laughs> I don't think I did. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. I don't think I looked through the binder. That's the thing. I can't believe you've done this. Nah, I didn't talk to Kurt for like three weeks. Wow. What did you do? I'm a very shy person. <laughs> I would say he's a very shy person. And then we flash back to like Leo coming to locals for like a month and then not saying hi to us at States. 
Wow. We're calling out a lot of people on the podcast today. You better believe it. I, but I also, I'm, I'm coming in. for you, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> I now just have this image of like the first two weeks of his locals, of you sitting on opposite side of the rooms just going... <laughs> Well, I, Pretty much. I, I'm a very shy person. It takes me, I don't know. Alcohol. No. Shop to locals no. blind. No, it takes me about three months to get to talk to people. Or alcohol. Just talking to all of you people at home. Not done. <laughs> I am very weird on that. Shout alcohol. outs if you're from Galebe. <laughs> Shout out to Galebe. So, that concludes us for today's <laughs> podcast. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord. Ask us what all of that was about. And we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Where's Galebo? Goodbye.